Hello, thanks for stopping by my channel. In today's video, we go on an adventure on a pirate ship looking for a mysterious treasure. And to create this card, I used the center picture window die set and add-on for the first time, as well as some other stamp and die sets. So I started by die cutting all the elements I needed to build my scene, all out of Bristol cardstock. Two card bases, one for the background and one that I will use for the front of my card and to cut borders, a center element that I will switch to black cardstock later, and two insert pieces. To begin, I took one card base, this side will be the inside of my card, and this side will be the outside, and I'm going to start working on this part first. I'm applying tumble glass oxide ink all over the panel, with a little bit of salty ocean at the top. This way I will have a consistent background both on the front and back of my card. Next I cut the second card base in half, and I use the same inks to color one half. And of course, I never leave a background without adding texture, so first I splattered water on my panels, used a paper towel to absorb it, and then I used the same inks mixed with water to create tiny drops on my panels. Next, I took the other half of my second card base to die cut a hill border and a wavy border. I applied a crack pistachio on the wavy border and added lucky clover at the bottom to create more depth. Before turning the hill border into a sand border, I used it as a guide to stamp some waves using a Lucky Clover ink on my wavy border. And then I applied antique linen and vintage photo oxide inks on the hill borders. I added drops of the same inks of camera to create sand texture. When everything was dry, I used the oval die to create a window in the small blue panel. Before attaching the elements on the front of my card, I wanted to color the inside using Twisted Citron, Cracked Pistachio and Lucky Clover Oxide Inks. I imagined the card in two parts. On the front, we have a pirate ship approaching the coast of a desert island. The pirates are looking for a treasure and maybe they will find it on this island. And on the inside, we'll have two pirates who have found the treasure that was hidden in a cave deep inside the jungle. The cave is supposed to be dark, so I needed to create a black background for it. So I aligned the middle line in the center picture window element with the middle line on the panel and use the pencil to mark where the tabs are supposed to be. I traced vertical lines from those pencil marks, adhered some washi tape, and applied black soot oxide ink to create the back of my cave. Next, I colored the last elements, two hill borders and also the insert pieces. Contrary to the front of my card that takes place on a beach, the inside of the card takes place in the jungle, so I used vintage photo and grand espresso to get a dirt effect.
I cut a center picture window element out of licorice cardstock. I knew it would be covered, but still I wanted it to match the black background. And I used the oval die to create an opening. I applied double-sided tape on the tabs. Folded the element in half right on the score line. And folded the tabs on the score lines using my bone folder. And I did the same thing with the insert elements. Double-sided tape on the tabs. Folded them in half and folded the tabs. Next step was to assemble everything. I started with the dot borders that I attached at the bottom and 2 or 3 mm on the black part. This way the edges of the borders will be hidden behind the center picture window element. I folded the card base in half right on the score line. I removed the back of the tape on the right tab, folded this tab. I aligned the score line of this black center picture window element with the middle line on the card base and pressed down to adhere the tab to the card base. I did the same thing with the long insert piece. I removed the back of the tape folded the tab, aligned the score lines, and pressed down to adhere the tab, and again with the small insert piece. Next I folded the three elements in half, removed the back of the tape, and close the card base to adhere everything. And that's it, the inside is assembled. Next, I assembled the outside by simply layering the different elements and attaching them on the front of the card using foam squares. I was planning to stamp this eye patch on my parrot, but it was a little bit too large, so instead I masked the parrot, leaving the eye patch clear. I applied black ink, removed the washi tape, and gave my parrot an eye patch. All the images were stamped on Inla cardstock using the same jet black ink and I colored them using my alcohol markers. You probably already noticed that I like to include a lot of images on my cards, so this is why I try to keep my coloring simple by using two markers only.
My first idea for the boy's vest was to color it in red, but I realized it wouldn't match the jungle theme of the inside of my card, so I restamped him, colored the vest in blue, I cut the small elements, used a black marker to get rid of the white edges, and glued them on the first image. When all the images were colored, I cut them using the coordinating dies and attached them using glue dots. I wanted the chest to be perfectly centered in the center picture window, so I used the T-shaped die to create a nice core line right in the middle of it. But before attaching this chest, I used the rocks to create the outside of the cave. I cut them or folded them and adhered them using glue dots. I added ivy leaves to match my jungle theme and attached the chest inside the cave. Thank you. 
and to get more of this tropical jungle theme, I glued additional flowers and leaves between the rocks. For my sentiment, I first used the banner dye from the set with black licorice cardstock and white it embossed your a treasure on it. I folded it in half and adhered it inside my card using liquid glue. And to totally complete the card, I cut a rectangle out of red cardstock using the die from the set and attached it at the back. And this is the final result. I like to think of this parrot as the guardian of the treasure. Do you think he will let the pirates take it? I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Have a beautiful day. Bye!